At the end of this past year, you were in a unique position. Your your New Japan deal was, well, I mean, I guess you were technically a free agent, but but there were different. I mean, because um, I don't, you, I I think this was your, this is actually your first contract, I think, this year. But yeah. So there, but you had basically a choice. You know, I know AEW wanted you. I know that you could have pretty much gone in anywhere at that point. You'd made enough of a name, but you decided to sign for a couple of years with, with New Japan. I mean, um, was there any, like, motivating factor or you just enjoy it? And also, have you moved to Japan? Because I seem to think that you told me you were going to, you, you were moving to Japan at some point. Yeah, I just, I was just looking at apartments yesterday, actually. I came in a couple days early. I'm staying at Ospreys right now. Uh, we we all uh, check in the hotel later today. But, yeah, I came in a couple days early, checked out some apartments. I am moving here on a full-time basis probably within the next couple months. But, is there uh, any... Do, 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 the contract, what's that? So so you really like there's just the idea of living there. You 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 know you like yeah, that. I love just, everything. You've you've, you've learned you've learned the, the Japanese ways, so to speak, and and enjoy that. Because <laughs> some people can never get that aspect of Japan. It's kind of like you know they can go there to wrestle, but they don't want to stay. And then other people just end up loving Japan. Yep, and yeah, that's just all. You know, I I, I don't have a uh, you know another thing with me was I didn't have I was just living on the road, living out of my bag, crashing on my dad's house in between tours and stuff, but. It started to be a drag, and I needed a place of my own. And for me to have a place in like Chicago or anywhere in America, I got to pay taxes there, and it's just going to sit empty. And it just didn't make sense to me if I if I wanted to uh, have a place. The only logical place would be Tokyo because I'm here eighty seventy at least seventy percent of the time, anyways. So, uh, and I just got sick of flying back and forth, and you know, jet lag and. Every meal that I ever eat is from a restaurant, and that's bullshit. You know, I want to have, I want to have a little apartment with a little stove, a little refrigerator, and eat the stuff I want, cook the stuff I want, and it's just make my it'll make my life a lot easier if I live here full time. And I love I love Japan, I love the people, and uh, yeah, if I and the more I'm here, the more I can, the more I can do, I can, I can do extra promotional work and it just it was kind of obviously like eventually a no-brainer it's like wow how did i not think of this earlier i just got so fed up of living out of a suitcase and and the decision to 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 go with new japan for a couple of years right well that was i mean i was kind of i was cool with not having a contract for a long for a long time because i knew i knew i was in and i knew i was they were using me all the time, but people, you know, started calling me and asking me to go to try to do it or work other places. And I was kind of like, ah, uh. so I basically just had to say, you know, I need some sort of, uh, I need a contract. I need some sort of like guaranteed, like, all right, I'm in, we're in, it's on paper, you know, three years, X amount of dollars. If I got hurt or whatnot, you know, I'm I'm a part of the team, I'll be taking care of, everything's good. It was just kind of like the weekly, you know, if, if I would have got hurt before I had a contract, you know, you know I'm kind of SOL, you know, as far as money coming in, if you can't work, you know, you're not going to make any money. So I always wanted a contract from here, and then the thing that got got it going was people trying to get me to go elsewhere. And I was just kind of up front with them today. I don't want to leave, but these guys are offering me this. This is a possibility over here. I really just want to stay here. And they didn't even, they were like, oh, okay, no problem. And then, boom, it was, it was done. One conversation. So I lucked out.